and welcome to the channel so I'm making this particular video because CSIR NTA has just announced its scorecard okay now this is something very new this time uh, that we have not got any uh, cutoff list we have not got any cut like cutoff marks which we used to get earlier neither we have got any uh, PDF full of those roll numbers who have qualified for GRA for net this time we have just got directly the scorecard okay now I'll tell you why this happened and what are the consequences of this and what you can interpret out, out of that. So first of all, I will I would like to tell you that I am personally like personally my personal experience is that I am very much disappointed this time. Okay, by what kind of uh, like management these people have done. So I would not say this directly because this time two different uh, managing uh, agencies were taking care of the exam. CSIR is taking care of of the fellowship and the other part. NTA is taking care of just the exam part, uh, part okay, just uh, just to conduct the exam. So that part has been taken care by uh, by NTA. So that's why all these things are happening. Earlier only CSIR used to take care of both the things. Now both the things are divided among two agencies. So fine, uh, that is something which is my personal opinion. I am not at all uh, happy with the with the way how the exam has been conducted or uh, the way how the things has been given. Okay, the results has been announced earlier it was delayed and then they have given answer like that like uh, the the result like that okay so fine that's what we are up to and that's what we are getting so we are uh, we we have to deal with whatever we have got okay so let's get with it so yeah the main topic of this video is that many of you were asking me that what is this uh, what we have to do with this scorecard uh, or what we can do actually with it okay so what and how it is helpful so I'll try to uh, like tell you guys a few things about uh, about this particular scorecard and how you can uh, use this scorecard to analyze that whether you are going to qualify this exam or not. Okay, so it is just a rough idea which you will get out of it. So it's just my approximation which I have made, and uh, yeah. So I'll try to explain that. Okay, so first of all, let me just tell you that this is what the result which you will get. Those who don't know about the result, if you if you know don't know that result or the scorecard has been announced. So I'll give the link in the description. You can click on that link. Open uh, a tab will be opened over with there. You just have to log in using your application number and your uh, date of birth or the password. Okay. So and then you can download your uh, scorecard. So this is how the scorecard will look like. Here you will be having your application number then you will be having your candidate's name over here then your mother father name and other details will be filled over here uh, the main thing which you have to uh, see is that uh, the number of candidates which have appeared for this exam so this is the number of candidates which have been registered for the exam so uh, it's around 65,000 um, around right 65,300 something and the students who have appeared for that that is 53390 so this is a huge number of students which have given this exam for chemical sciences so this is for only for chemical sciences okay so this time 53390 students gave this exam uh, it is really like it's a very big massive exam right a lot of people are there big competition so fine uh, yeah so now the main thing is your marks obtained part where you will be getting the different marks right the, it, it will be mentioned like in part a how much marks you got in part b how much marks you got in part c how much marks you got then your total marks will be mentioned over here that how much marks you are getting in total and then your total marks obtained in words that means it will be written in words like if it, it, it is 105 so it will be written 105 like that and then there is something new called as nta score okay so let's say somebody has got let's say uh, 10 marks in part a he got let's say 30 marks in part b and let's say he got uh, 60 marks marks in part c so total marks observed uh, uh, obtained will be 100 over here and 100 will be written in this the in this uh, in words now what is this nta score so nta score is nothing but the percentile okay many students are thinking uh, nta score they are taking nta score as uh, the qualifying score or they are thinking that if they will get NTA score more than 100 then they will qualify this exam it's nothing like that okay uh, it's just a percentile system if you if you have this percentile system in your masters you might know what, what it is okay so it is taken from the from the marks of the topper and like that it has been calculated so they have mentioned over here in the in the points if you look upon these notes over here so they have mentioned that how it is calculated okay so we'll get back to that so yeah, NTA score is over here. So fine. And um, 
yeah so this is how the thing is given to you in your scorecard now what to interpret from it okay so how to do that see you can be little smart enough to to calculate the things over here see what it is given it's given that the nta score over here it indicates the percentage of candidates who have scored equal or below okay that means the marks which you have scored that much marks or lower than that marks um, the nta score of a candidate have been calculated as follows so the formula is given to you what is that formula the formula is like so they have given that your nta score is actually is equals to 100 into the number of candidates let's say okay uh, which has marks um, equal to or less than that means less than or equal to your marks okay so your marks and divided by the total number of candidates so total number of candidates so this is the formula uh, which nta has given us and this they have told that nta score has been calculated using this particular formula so what we can do since we know our nta score this is already known to us and we also know uh, the num total number of candidates which have been appeared for exam that is 53390 uh, for the case of csir net so what you can do you can put this particular value over here to calculate the number of those candidates who has uh, like who has scored marks equal to or less than yours so with that you can you can actually find out your rank okay your approximate all india rank so that's what you can do if you if you do this much of maths so this is something which 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 seems very like uh, logical also right so if the formula they have given that how they are calculating so that in that way you can do so uh, yeah so you can use this particular thing to uh, to go forward and to to get the like actual result so let's say if your nta score is let's say 96 okay let's say let's say i'm saying that your nta score is 96 so let's put uh, so what will be your so the number of candidates so the number of candidates who will get marks less than or equal to your marks okay that will be given by how much that will be equal to your nta score multiplied by the total number of candidates and uh, divided by 100 so that's how you can find out that how many candidates scored marks equal to or less than yours so let's say if, if 96 is the case so what we will get from here is 96 into total number of candidates who appeared is 533 uh, sorry 5 and then we have 3390 and divided by 100 so that's what uh, value you will get so let me just use my calculator to solve this uh, so it will be 53390 uh, multiplied by 96 let's say and the val value which i got uh, if i divide this by 100 so i'll get 51 so how much i'll get so 51254 uh, okay so or 0.4 so it's around that so 51255 five, five you can take so this is the value which we which you got that means this much students or this much candidates got marks equivalent to you or less than yours so that means what should be your approximate marks you, you can just subtract it from it so whatever value you are getting you can just subtract it from 53390 uh, so in that case your rank will be your probable rank uh, will come out around uh, around 2000 okay so your 96 uh, uh, like gate score uh, sorry 96 net score is giving you a rank of around uh, so if you just subtract it you can get it right so this will be around 2000 so 2135 something like this so that means your rank is this much now this much big number is not going to help actually okay so this uh, score is uh, like that means your rank is too much below so CSIR generally gives a uh, fellowship that means JRF fellowship to uh, around 700 to 900 students or maybe more than that but this is the average range uh, to which this is the average number of candidates to which it gives the fellowship okay so that means uh, your NTA score should be very good in order to uh, be assured that yes you are going to get JRF okay so this is all uh, my calculation and that's how you can uh, predict the things and i think that it's quite correct also um, i believe it so if you guys also have any idea you can tell that in the comment section below and what do you think about this that also you can share it up but yeah uh, if you see this particular thing your nta score should be around 98 and plus okay so 98 and more than that should be the your nta score in order to uh, get rank below 1000 and to get a fair chance 
of getting GRF that and everything which are, whatever I am telling is for the open category okay that means for the for the GRF category uh, for the for the general category so I don't know uh, that for the reserved category how to calculate and how to do I think for that one more PDF has been uploaded in which different category students has been given so some calculation we have to do and I'll try to do with that and I'll try to come up with some other thing uh, but yeah for now this is the thing uh, this is how you can be assured about it so I'm making this video it's very important especially for those who are having their NTA score around 85 or 80 or like that okay so if, if that is the case I will suggest you to stop uh, like thinking about the result now and start preparing for the next exam because time is running right so uh, you don't have command over the time so just try to utilize that time for the next preparation uh, whatever uh, whatever mistakes you have done this time just uh, try to overcome that okay don't uh, let's try to polish those things and try to come up with new things okay try to make up your own uh, preparation strategy and start doing that because uh, there is no time to now sit and uh, wait for the result okay because see if you look upon this para written over here it says that the nta testing uh, national testing agency has taken care uh, while uploading the scorecard however in case of any okay so fine all these things are given in the next one it says that no separate information about the scorecard shall be issued so that means th um, for now in the upcoming time there is no like no new information is going to be uploaded by your uh, nta so whatever they have done it's done and the next thing is that instruction relating to the um, like issuance or or containing the eligibility certificate to the certified candidates will be uh, notified separately later by the csir on their website so remember this uh, like the cutoff what i think what it says that the cutoff uh, or or the, the list of those candidates who have qualified for the exam list containing the roll numbers of those candidates is going to be uh, like it that that is going to be uploaded on the csir website so now uh, nt has conducted the exam they have like they have taken care of all the things the exam uh, conduction of the exam and uh, like the checking of the answer okay, and the scorecard that's what they uh, the work they were having they have done that now they have shifted everything they have given all the information to csir now csir will uh, uh, like that will validate all the things it will make its own cutoff uh, and it will decide that what cutoff will be exactly and it will now like they people will now make a list of those students uh, who are going to uh, get grf so i have no idea about different categories but for general i would say for general or for the unreserved category i would say that the that the nta score more than 98 uh, will be a safe score to get okay and for the other categories uh, i have no idea about it so yeah uh, now uh, what you have to do like start preparing if you have got a lower score polish up whatever you have uh, made mistakes this time and try to strategize your preparation and all okay and uh, i have my classes like um, i also take my classes on an academy plus so there i'm teaching live many students have joined over there and they have performed well this time so I don't know about the result now but yeah uh, I can say that there are many students who have performed well so it means the classes are helping them so if you guys want to join you can also join my classes on an academy plus the, re uh, the details regarding that will be flashing on the screen right now below so you can check out that and you can uh, join an academy plus and you can learn live from me so yeah one more thing that uh, what will be the score or what will be the cutoff so what I think is uh, since I had a talk with the students and I have seen what kind of uh, NTA score they are getting at a particular score at a particular marks uh, so I think 106 or 105 will be the cutoff 105 to 108 is going to be the cutoff for the for the general category okay this is for the GRF so 105 to 108 is going to be the cutoff for the general GRF category for others we can't say anything okay so don't waste your time on waiting for the result keep on preparing you have gate in the next month so prepare for that all the best for you so for the gate exam and if you have any doubt regarding this uh, whatever i have told you in the video or if you have any doubt regarding joining my class or anything you can comment down below i'll try to explain that over there right so i'll be i'll be reading all your comments 
although i might not be able to reply all of you but i do read all the comments okay so thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a like uh, press that like button if you are new to this channel do subscribe to this channel because i keep on making videos for csir net category and also for the gate exam so that's all from my side for this particular video i hope you guys liked it and uh, at the last if you are getting low score believe me um, you have a particular knowledge okay you have that much capability don't be depressed okay don't feel bad about yourself it's just a matter of exam three hours of exam is not going to decide uh, about your capabilities right so be positive think positive and approach for the next exam so that's all i will say and i'll be talking about these things later on as the result will be published but for now don't lose hope and uh, if you are getting low score don't waste your time basically okay just go for the next exam if you want or whatever you have thought for the future just go for that okay so that's all from my side guys thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye bye